The anniversary of Jesus' birth in any given year can only be calculated accurately on the ancient Hebrew calendar, not the Roman calendar or even the modern Jewish calendar. December 25th is a Roman date, and his Hebrew birth date would have been different. No one knows for sure which Hebrew date represents the birthday of Jesus, but the Bible gives clues. It says in Luke 1, 30-36 that Mary conceived Jesus when Elizabeth was six months pregnant. In Luke 1, 23 and 24, it says Elizabeth conceived after Zacharias finished the days of his ministration. In Luke 1, 5 and 8, it explains that the days of his ministration were the course of Abia. The word Abia refers to Abijah. The course of Abijah is explained in 1 Chronicles 24. It's referring to the priestly duties in the temple. David appointed 24 courses, and each course would last seven and a half days from Sabbath to Sabbath. The priests would change over on each Sabbath day. This is explained in 1 Chronicles 9.25 and 2 Chronicles 23.8. It's also explained in the writings of Josephus, Antiquities 7, chapter 14, verse 7. The course of Abijah was the eighth course, as explained in 1 Chronicles 24.10, and the courses started at the beginning of the year, which is corroborated in the 1977 book, St. Luke, the Date of Christmas, and the Priestly Courses at Qumran. So, on the first day of the first month on the Hebrew calendar, course one would start, and on the seventh day, the Sabbath would be observed, and course two would start. Course three would then start on the next Sabbath, course four on the Sabbath after that, and so on, until the 24th course, which would usually end at the start of the seventh month. Then the 24 courses would start again at the beginning of the seventh month and continue until the first month. So we're told Elizabeth conceived after her husband finished the eighth course, and Mary conceived Jesus six months later, and nine months after that, Jesus was born. So the only biblical clues were given about Jesus' birth date refer to the ancient Hebrew calendar were not given Roman dates for his birth in the Bible. So if we wanted to observe Jesus' birthday in any given year, we would need to refer to the ancient Hebrew calendar. The ancient Hebrew calendar is a lunisolar calendar, and that means its dates do not coincide with the same Roman dates every year. The first day of each month is always on the new moon, or the first crescent of the new moon. And in ancient times, in order to determine which new moon represented the first month, they were instructed to observe the turn around the spring equinox. This visible turn of the sun and moon from right to left or left to right from our perspective on Earth never occurs on the same date each year. It was observed on the full moon of the 12th month. And if the turn did not occur on the full moon of the 12th month, then they would observe a 13th month, which happened approximately every three years. So, in order to find Jesus' birth date in 2017, we would need to look at the ancient Hebrew calendar in 2016. The turn was observed on the full moon of March 23rd, and the first day of the ancient first month in 2016 landed on the new moon and first crescent of April 7th and 8th. The days start in the evening, so the first day was either the evening of April 7th to the evening of April 8th, or the evening of April 8th to the evening of April 9th. That means April 7th through the 9th represented the window for the first day of the first month on the ancient Hebrew calendar in 2016. And that was the start of the first course. The second course would have started on the seventh day, the Sabbath, on the window of April 13th through the 15th. 
The third course would have started on the window of April 20th through the 22nd. The fourth course on April 27th through the 29th. The fifth course on May 4th through the 6th. The sixth course on May 11th through the 13th. The seventh course on May 18th through the 20th. And the eighth course would have started on May 25th through the 27th, 2016. Luke 1, 23 and 24 tells us Elizabeth conceived right after the eighth course. And Luke 30 through 36 says Mary conceived when Elizabeth was six months pregnant. We're not told the exact date Elizabeth conceived. Therefore, we cannot know the exact date Jesus was born. However, we are told she conceived right after the eighth course, which indicates she conceived sometime during the ninth course. The window of May 25th through the 27th, 2016, represented the start of the eighth course, which lasted until the next Sabbath window from June 1st through the 3rd, 2016. June 1st through the 3rd was the start of the ninth course, which lasted until June 8th through the 10th, 2016. So, June 1st through the 10th, 2016, represents the window that Elizabeth conceived. June 1st, 2016 was the 27th day of the second month on the ancient Hebrew calendar. So, six months later would be the 27th day of the eighth month on the ancient Hebrew calendar which landed on November 25th, 2016. The window for Jesus' conception was, therefore, the 10-day period from November 25th through December 4th, 2016. The human gestation period from conception to birth is 38 weeks. 38 weeks after November 25th landed on August 18th, 2017. So the window for Jesus' birth in 2017 was the 10-day period from August 18th to August 27th, 2017. This is very interesting because the Great American Solar Eclipse on August 21st, 2017 landed on Jesus' true birthday. For more information on the significance of the fall of 2017 in Bible prophecy, you can see the links here. Thank you to those who make this work possible. If you liked this video, please consider providing support. The link is below. I hope you're doing well, and I will talk to you next week.